Hey tennis fans, I'm Blair Henley and welcome to our Tennis Now Gear Guide, where today we're going to be talking about the new Gamma Razor 98M and 100M, which are new and improved versions of Gamma's original Razor 98 and 100. M Carbon promises to give the perfect combo of stiffness and flexibility for added power transfer in these new frames, so let's talk about the bells and whistles first. The racket heads are designed to streamline airflow and create the least amount of resistance as you swing through your shots. You can see that the tops of these frames have more rounded edges and the bumper is minimized to cut out drag. These rackets also feature multi-directional carbon layering, which ensures optimum strength and stiffness, giving you a lively feel on contact. And you know you're going to get your money's worth here because both frames have what Gamma calls minimized voids. They've squeezed out trapped air in the frame that can cause premature breakdown. So let's get down to business. How did it feel on the court? The 98M was up first, and it's slightly heavier than my racket at 11.3 ounces strung, but interestingly, it doesn't feel like it. Those aerodynamic properties must be doing their job, right? It's around six points head light, which adds a good bit of maneuverability. Plus, it's a pretty flexible frame, so the comfort level was nice. I strung it with Gamma's new Moto Glide Hybrid, and the result was some surprising pop and spin, plus the option to hit touch shots when necessary. That said, if I didn't hit a solid ball or if I was a little late, the 98M let me know. You're gonna hear that dead sound and you're gonna feel some vibration if you're a little off, which in some ways is a good thing. It's like a little built-in alarm system saying, you're not watching the ball or get ready earlier. I also had a bit of a harder time finding my range on my backhand slice with the 98M. I'm not exactly sure why that was, but I wanna make sure I accurately relay the feel. Next up was the 100M, and I'll tell you right off the bat, I'm a huge fan. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I was crushing the ball with this racket. And with a relatively open 16 by 18 string pattern, plus the help of glide cross string, which really enhances spin potential, the balls had plenty of clearance and were dropping within a couple of feet of the baseline. It's funny, the first word out of my hitting partner's mouth when I started playing with this frame was, whoa. I strung it at mid-tension on the mains and a bit higher on the crosses, but I may bring that up a few pounds next time just to add a little more control. It's slightly lighter than the 98M at 11.1 ounces strong and just three points head light, which gave me a really stable feel on contact and provided plenty of momentum on the follow through. My volleys felt super crisp and my first serve felt like a cannon. I did have a little trouble controlling my kick serve at first, it seemed to fly a little bit, but Players with some experience will be able to adjust to that, no problem. The issues I had on my slice and on slightly off-center shots with the 98 didn't seem nearly as pronounced with the 100M. Maybe I just needed that extra two square inches of racket head space. Overall, I think Gamma has two really solid rackets here. The 98M would work for more experienced players who like a comfortable racket that's also capable of some power. The 100M could really be used by a variety of players depending on how you decide to string it. I consider myself an off-court player, and I felt like I had command from all areas. Gamma is known more for its string, but it's slowly gaining momentum on the racket front, and the 98M and 100M are proof of that. That's all for today's Tennis Now Gear Guide. Feel free to ask questions in the comment section, and we'll see you next time here on Tennis Now.